Hi guys. Today I am back with four simple one signature journals. Um, they have been made with paper fabric or fabric paper. They're called various things. And um, for those of you who've never seen that done or made that yourself, it's a really interesting process where you start out with a piece of fabric and you begin to add layers with Mod Podge of paper, all kinds of scraps and book pages and just virtually any paper you have. And you just keep making layers and layers and layers and it creates all these levels of interest within and then I put tissue over top of it and everything to give it a wrinkled like leather like look and then I inked it to really deepen the colors more and to tie into whichever paper I use because it's all coordinating paper to go along with each of them but anyway let me go ahead and take off one of these ties and We'll set these out of the way and we'll take a look at those in a moment, but I want to be able to give you a better look at this. And the really neat thing about it is just like with leather, the more you play with it and work at it and everything, the softer it gets. Right now it's firm and sturdy, but it's still real pliable. But I've noticed even as I've played with it just a little bit, it starts getting... Um, really neat just like leather anyway I don't know if you can see all those different layers of napkins and paper and music sheets book pages and then the fabric on the inside this one was this gorgeous rose with a really deep um, burgundy is about as close as I get can get to it's almost black it's really pretty so that's why I went with the burgundy um, distress ink that oh goodness I can't remember the name of it I'll, I'll link it down when I, when I check it out but anyway so opening it up like I said it's one signature and I've got lace pockets lace covered pockets here with some of that leftover paper cloth from the the binding and I've got scrapbook paper with lace on the edge sewn on coffee dyed tea dyed papers I think these look like tea dyed here but anyway it's got the markings from the pans that I baked them on vintage music sheets and all sorts of types of paper that is a graph paper there's eco dyed some of my eco dyed papers from last last fall tracing paper Edith Holden page and I folded that over so the whole page is intact and you can make a tuck spot easily there by just connecting it at the front uh, top and bottom and a little tab sewn on ledger some old typewriter uh, textbook page that I added there gardening book pages and some line children's penmanship paper another piece of music and I think we're at the, we at the yes we are at the middle of the signature I've got um, cardstock for support and I've got a, a big tuck there with a couple of pieces that's some more of that leftover that I covered with some gesso and stamped on and a little card for journaling there tucked into this beautiful lace like pocket and that's from Nick the booksmith one of her printables and on the other side got an old library index card and a couple of just little random sheets of paper in the center is an envelope that I've left open for you so you can journal on it or you can seal it 
and use it as a pocket. And that, oh goodness, I think a Tsunami Rose. <laughs> I've had that kit for a while, so I can't honestly remember which one that was, but that's my best guess. Here's some um, fabric that's been sewn onto that piece and another little tab sewn on. And then we head back the other direction. Or that gorgeous old typewriter textbook. That was such a great find. And the other side of that Edith Holden page where I've pulled that over. It's just a little clip there holding it closed. Again, I didn't want to take away from that. And I thought that would make a really nice big tuck if you wanted. Or it could be opened up and you could journal all over it too. Oh, that piece needs to go in a pocket. Sorry about that. There's the other side of that um, eco-dyed paper. And the back with some more lace. Another lace pocket. And just a few little inclusions there. Notes and a couple of little journaling cards. So that's the burgundy one. Let me just set, oh, I didn't even show these when I was showing the paper, the fabric. I neglected to show that. There's a little tuck tag pocket set. <laughs> and another journaling card. And just a little piece of one of the off cuts of the paper that's been tea dyed. And another little piece there. Those are all on the front. Plenty of journaling areas. The next one is purple. And as you can imagine, the things inside are also going to be purple. Here, let me give you a, a look at that fabric paper. And that, that was uh, wilted violet I used for that one. Distress inks. This one, I used some black lace. And some journaling cards and ephemera. And some, I, I also used the Distress ink to uh, take some cotton lace and dye it as well. And then I just used some inks on there. As well all that all purple inks there again with the vintage music sheets need a holding page and a little side pocket. And a little sewn on tab. Eco dyed coffee filter. ruffle of tracing paper that's been dyed and sewn on. I'm sorry, glued on. That one was not sewn on. Oops, tracing paper. The other side of it. It's really cool. You, it looked like it was all one sheet there because you can see through it. And this is from Artie May's Queen Victoria digital kit. It's an envelope there that I just included a couple of the little off cuts. Envelope. 
and then back the other direction. So pretty. Right. Okay, I was silent there. I'd forgotten to count the pages prior to recording, so I, I went through and I counted 29, however, that did include those little tiny half pages and, you know, little tiny pieces of paper. Um, so really, you could call it like this. Really, you could call it 25. So um, 25 papers, 50, that would be 100, 100 sides in the book. Just so you're 25, 50, yes, 100. I wanted to be sure. <laughs> messing up my math. And a few more. Journaling cards, papers, and a back pocket with lace on it there as well. Okay, I'll try and speed this up a little bit more for these last two, just so you can kind of get an idea. This one is turquoise and brown, so it'll be turquoise for the sake of the listing. And let's let you get a good look at that. And I used Vintage Photo and Walnut Stain to get achieve that, um, well, where all the raised areas are to make that look even more like a distressed leather. And this has also another beautiful black lace pocket on the front and back. And little journaling cards. It's one of those little pocket journaling cards. And the material on the inside. And that's, they all have the same basic ingredients. They're, it's just the way I handled them. Like this was inks and others were coffee stained. If it just fit the color scheme that I had going on. Let me show you this Edith Holden page because they're just so pretty. Eco dyed its little flowers all over. Here's music paper that for practice for writing out your own notes. There's some lace on the edge of that. There's some more of that look vintage looking lace digital from Nick the Booksmith. A to do list and library index card.
Okay, and last but not least, we have blue. And this has a real denim-y look to it. In fact, faded denim is one of the colors I used on this. I used a much darker color, and that I can't remember either. I'll have to look that up. Actually, I think that was a, a Stays On Midnight Blue. That's what it was. Stays On Midnight Blue, and then I covered it with faded denim on the really highest surfaces. But when you're up close to it, you can see... Let me see how close my camera will let me get. Well, not great. But you can see all the layers underneath that are still coming up through. It's fun stuff. It's a process. It took, it took a full day just to do these four covers. Because, you know, you're doing all those layers upon layers and you're letting the glue dry. A little bit somewhat in between each layer and then you have to let the whole thing dry for at least a 24-hour period after you've done it before you can begin to work with it so it's fun but it is a process and this is a beautiful cut lace and the, the fun indoor it the fun <laughs> fabric on the inside Okay, we're winding down on the back side of the signature. And the back cover. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me today for a quick flip through of these. And all of the information will be linked below. For Etsy shop listings. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we've got blue, turquoise, real imaginative names, I know, but it's just easier that way. <laughs> Purple, and burgundy. Thanks much. Bye. The second half.